with the maximum from this program. First thing, these two days be relaxed. Don't bother anything about the external world. Perfect. The world is outside the ancient Kuri compound. It is outside of the compound. Perfect about the world.
Yes, you may be compelled, but I say it is right. Or you may be very, but I say it is wrong. Both ways will not be done. If you say, but I say it is wrong, you will be having no in your tongue. For everything, you will be just saying no, 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 no. Then nothing will happen. To say no, you could have stayed in our hostel. In our hostel, can you say no to me? No doubt. Can you say no? To say no, there is no need to ask. And if you say yes, yes, I have written this. Yes, he also says that. In this book, it is told. You will be just comparing instead of completely Digesting, drinking, you will be only working in intellectual place. I want you to completely drop your head and drop your inner satin. Neither reject nor accept. Just be open, that's enough. Because if you are accepting my idea, if you accept my idea, then what will you do next? Immediately you start drawing the plans how to go and work out whatever you say. You will start drawing plans. What it takes it sounds so like I will say plan how to go and work out. How to go and make it practical. I say again and again, emphatically, don't try to make any plan how to work out my ideas. Just listen with heart, that's enough. Just listen with your being. It will be my authentic experience that will take care of itself, that will make you act. You don't have to act, or you don't have to try to act according to me. Teachings are according to me, I hear. You just digest it, that's enough. That will work. That will take care of my self. Give me from authentic experience. If it comes from my heart, it will directly touch your heart. You don't have to worry. You are not here to listen to Rama and Arvara. I am not going to do any Paragar Shiva. If you are listening to Paragar Shiva, you can plan. Yes, I have listened to Mahavata. Let me go and try to work out how to solve my land problem with my brother. You can try to work out because those things consist of moral teachings, some do's and don'ts. But here I am not going to give any do's and don'ts. I am going to give some understandings, more than understanding, some energy. When I say energy, don't understand in any mystical terms. Don't bother to call out mystical terms. As the breath clasps in our being, doubts are energy clasps in our being. When those doubts are cleared, you will see a new energy subsurging in your being. That is what will happen in these two days. So don't worry about planning. Don't have create any plan how to go and work out all this idea. And whatever meditations you are going to practice these two days, you are requested not to continue in the house. I am not going to give you any practice, any system to continue in your house. These two days you are completely here to rejoin. These techniques are designed in such a way that this technique wants then the presence, master's presence, itself making the self. So you don't have to have any plan about that data when first you are going to die in 20. Day after tomorrow you are going to die. 
Don't worry about money first, just for two days. Just for two days. Don't you forget? Remember the next thing? Very easy. Just for two days, don't think about tomorrow. I'm not asking you. Maybe. And already you are dedicated, you are given that two days to me. All that is yes, and give to my husband. He needs all these things. Every one of us, when we listen to some spiritual discourse, we think about others. We don't think about ourselves. If we don't get anybody, then immediately, if we listen, when we listen to some spiritual discourse, we pass it down to others. What Swami says is not true in my life. My life is not so bad. It may be for the next moment. Not for me. Don't avoid anything. I am talking to you directly. I am not talking to your next person. Be very clear. I am going to talk just to you. For the that somebody else is sitting in this hall except me and you. Remember, contact is only between me and you. Don't think that somebody else is sitting. Be very clear. You are attending. You are listening. Everything just for your sake. And when some idea comes, which you think your wife needs, don't look at our face and say, confirm it. Yes. Are you listening? So, don't go for confirmation. Just you listen. Try to digest for yourself. Learn to laugh. Yes. And Sadaji was telling to his friends. One man told a joke. Some of his friends told a joke. But some of the way of putting was not right. He was not able to present it nicely. So the juice of the joke was missing. Nobody was able to catch that joke. Everybody was silent. But the Sardar Sardar started laughing like him. He was filled with laughter. He was having a good, very laughter. Other people were sitting with him and asked, What happened? Where are you laughing? None of us have understood his joke. None of us are able to catch the juice of the joke. Where are you laughing? Sardar said, Okay, you are here to laugh and enjoy. Rija is complete and the seating arrangements will be made in such a way as husband and wife will not sit here. <laughs> Relating and seating is a mystery. If a person is coming to a master, he can be held, post cannot be held. King is just a post. It is not a person. You can't do anything to him. If he is a king, we should stay in the palace. We should not come to the master. If you come to the master, just remove all your degrees, post, whatever adjectives you have. If you come as you are, you can be helped, but your post cannot help. Not only coming to me, coming to you. Now you are not just coming to me, you are going to go to you. Me and yourself is not different. Now, let us introduce ourselves to ourselves. The king can say to others that I am king. For himself, what he introduce? 
Shall we try for three minutes? If you know, you don't know. At least you know, you don't know. If you don't know, that you don't know. You don't even know that you don't know. This is what is the last thing. That is the last thing. Go, be this, be first. Make this first. Share your whole being. Don't take it intellectually. Be very clear. You don't know even who you are. Just five minutes before, we were all proud to introduce ourselves to others. You just look in. You don't know even who you are. We know about everything about everybody. The new car, model car, which has come to the market, we know. The man who purchased the first car, we know. Which actress purchased which brand dog to her house, we know. So much of other details we know about our neighbors, about our apostles person, or about our colleagues. But we don't know anything about ourselves. It's a basic question. I believe I don't know the basic thing. If you feel really sincerely with this person, you will feel that yes in your less and yes is somebody or less as if the rest has been taken out. As if you are standing in the sky. Feel it honestly, really, and know you don't know. When you know you don't know, you will start knowing. So this is the maxim to contemplate. To contemplate on this maxim tonight. If you don't know yourself, just be very clear. Know that you don't know. If you know that you don't know, you know at least that you don't know. If you don't know that you don't know, you don't even know, you don't know. Again, I give you the maximum, maximum. You have the maximum with you and part of it. We have three bodies in our brain. We all think, we all live, we all move with only one body. That is the physical body, Jantra Sarina, which is used in the very good state. We have one more body, which we use in Swapana, in brain state. You may be sleeping in bad way, but in brain, you may be. In Madhura, you may be going to Babri. Actually, your physical body is in Babri, is in Bangalore. But you feel that you are not in Babri. What is happening? At that time also, you assume your body. You are using some body. Without body, you won't be able to do any activity. The body which you use in your dreams is subtle body, sukshma sarvi. We call it swapna sarvi. And the third body which can't be used but which exists. In deep sleep, you have In complete sushi deep drop, you are one body. These three bodies meet and merge in seven places in our body. In our being, they meet and merge in seven places. These seven places are called energy centers or chakras. Here is a beautiful diagram picture given over the chakras. 
Here, doubt is not going to help you. These two beings completely have a deep faith and believe many times. Faith and belief is continuous. Because many people are exploiting in the way, in the name of belief. Because of those exploitations, faith and belief is terribly continuous. We became too much alert, aware, doubtful. But now, we are going to do some alarm. We are going to really do some transformation. We are going to go some three after it. So, make it as a basic point. Drop your head. If you are completely centered in your head, you are anahala cannot open. I am not giving you the idea of faith and belief as a moral I am not saying that it is a belief in me, I will save you in the hand. No. I am giving this idea of faith or belief as a technique. It, it is a basic need for us now. If you want to take anything higher, it is a basic need. I am not saying believe me all your life, believe me just for two days. Two days, I think it's not too much. You can give a chance. Right. And I say this, just drop how we are continuously asking how, 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 why. Yesterday when we are at in this experience, there is a rule, somebody is coming up there again, somebody is coming up with a psychological problem, somebody is coming up with a Diseases. In here itself, there are few people who had a first hand experience. Can you see the number? Can you raise the hands? People who had a first hand experience with our energy. Either by he or he. So, so many. When you listen to all these things, ask, say, the people who had experience is off, the people who had not had any experience is other half. The people who did not have any other experience will be asking continuously how, how, how. But this is such an intrinsic thing, you can't explain with the word how. In footnote, I will come and meet you on Friday if there is no way. So we are ready to give the heart. What it means? We have no respect for heart. All our idea about heart is nothing more than word. And we are seeing so much in movies about the heart, sentiments about the heart. We don't know anything about anything based about heart because we have never had any experience about heart. It is a totally different plane. The plane of heart is totally different plane. You can't even imagine the plane of heart. Man who has never seen elephant, can he imagine the elephant? No. People who have never seen Dinosaur. We have never seen the dinosaur. Whatever we imagine, it's only imagination. When once, when doctor was dealing with a patient who is blind from his birth, doctor was telling the patient, now after this operation, you will get your vision back. You will, you will be able to walk without stick, don't worry. The patient 
this became little worry. He is asking, yes, when you say that I will get my mission, I understand. But I don't understand. How will I be able to walk without stick? Please explain that. All our ideas, nothing but this. We understand that we will get the eye, but we don't understand how we will be able to walk without stick. When you get the eyes only, you will be able to understand. You don't need stick. Intellectually, you cannot explain what will happen. Only experientially, you can understand. All our idea about heart, thinking about feeling is only thinking. <coughs> Not feeling. <coughs> Even the anger. Hungry. The hungry and anger both. Everything is only our thinking. We have forgot feeling. The idea of feeling is completely disappeared. This chakra is love due to doubt and sentiments. Attention means sentiment means attention means. Small story. From the life of ancient master, from man who wrote commentary on Brahma Sutra, his name is Vajapati Mishra. He was staying with his master. His master, old Rishi, wanted to write a commentary on Brahma Sutra. Brahma Sutra is the unabridged dictionary of the all world philosophies. It is the ultimate book. He wants to write a commentary on that book. He was not able to. He has become too old. He has told his disciple, Vajaspati Mishra, you please write commentary on that book and giving this, uh, this command, giving this idea as last desire, he passed away. Before his passing away, he gave that also in marriage to the disciple. Both got married and they decided that first he will finish the commentary. Then they will start living with each other. They will start the regular marital life. He started writing the commentary. Commentary went down, went down, went down, went down. It was such a beautiful commentary on five different sutras. The best commentary on Brahma Sutra. Uh, Ultimate book on Brahma Sutra. Nobody else has created such a masterpiece. Even Shankara looks so poor in front of Vajaspati Mishra. In front of his commentary, even Shankara looks very really poor. The height of the intellectual. Even Shankara looks poor. Don't have to bother. The master is real or not. The technique is true or not. Don't worry. Just faith, your intensity can transform. If you are really intense, you know the stone will become God. In Ramakrishna's life, he was just worshipping a stone. He was just dancing, enjoying in front of a stone, continuously doing puja to the stone. But stone has become a live God. Stone, just through stone, is transformed. Vivekananda said, if you can create a person like Ramakrishna, not one idol, or two hundred idols, the faith, the belief that has simply transformed him, faith and belief itself is God, you don't need anything else. So the first thing, the basic thing, if you have the deepest possible faith, don't have the that I don't have faith, I don't have belief. 
That is another one way of cheating yourself. That's also one way of cheating yourself. No, I don't have faith. I don't have belief. No. Just change that word with the word I have faith. You are also maybe the fortunate one. Just faith can transform you. Don't worry about and be sure to keep your faith. The faith itself can bring you up, can transform you. Forty percent of your being is filled with faith. We never touch that aspect. We want total transformation, but we never go for that aspect of faith. We don't bother about that aspect at all. <coughs> we always want to have everything in the language of intellect. In the language of head, we never give a life awakening to the heart. So now, when you give, when you drop your head and give an emphasis on the faith and trust, you will be newly transformed, you will be able to enter into the earth. You don't need any other technique. This is the ultimate technique. Having faith, love, sun, these two days will be more love, flowing. Just share your being with everybody. You will see that your anatta is getting open in a new way, opening the heart, opening the anatta chakra, centering yourself into the being of heart.